So everyone, we're here to talk about your personal power. The power to create your own reality. It's something that everyone possesses, and yet most people don't know how to use it consciously. There are so many different methods out there, many, many different methods you may have seen here on YouTube, maybe on TikTok, anywhere on the internet, including witchcraft. Witchcraft is one of them, guys. Doing spells is indeed one way of utilizing your personal power and manifesting things into your life. So how is it that so many fail to harness this ability, this power that they innately possess? Well, guys, what I'm going to do here in this video is I am going to address this issue and I'm going to give you a surefire method that absolutely cannot fail. Keep on watching. Okay, guys, now here's problem number one. When people are trying to learn how to manifest things and create their own reality, what usually happens is they tend to binge watch all kinds of videos uh, with different words, different techniques, different methods. And the thing with that is it can be confusing and it can do actually more harm than good. Uh, when you have too many techniques, you try to... You try one or two, but you're really not sure about them yet. If you're not sure about them, then you're going to fail. It's a requirement, an absolute requirement, that you must be sure and have complete faith in the technique for it to work. There has to be no doubt in your mind. Okay? So that's where this comes in. This is going to be the one technique that you're going to have faith in. And you're going to keep doing continuously day after day. Alright. And you're going to have complete faith that it's absolutely going to work. Are we going to do that? Watch on. Alright, this is the big one, guys. This is what you do. First of all, you're going to start by doing a meditation every morning. If morning isn't good for you, you can do it some other time of day. Evening would be very good. Um, but I feel like it's really, if you can possibly at all, it's really the way you want to actually start your day. Okay? What you're going to be doing is visualizing having your desire and living it. Just living it. Feeling what it's like to have it. I mean, actually vividly visualizing, seeing it, and feeling it like as if you already have it, okay? That's the key. You're going to trick your brain into believing that it already has it, and then your automatic reality creating ability, shall we say, is going to just automatically kick in, you're going to have it, because you think you already have it, because you've convinced yourself that you already have it. Now, you do this, do the meditation daily, every day, and throughout the day. Feel as though you're already what you want to be. You already have what you want to have, okay? Do affirmations. Those would be very good. Positive affirmations because the key is going to be persistence, all right? Persistently programming your brain individualizing and believing that you already have what it is that you want to have or you already are what it is that you want to be continue on for the wrap up all right everyone now the state that we just talked about you have to stay in constantly you cannot step out of it if you step out of it too soon before you've actually manifested the thing that you're desiring to manifest, uh, you will activate your reasoning mind, actually, your reasoning brain, the monkey brain. You know what I mean? You've got your mind, which is your spirit, psychic awareness mind, and you've got your little monkey brain, 
And you don't want to activate the monkey brain for this one because your reasoning mind will kill it. Your reasoning mind will cause doubts to creep in. Your reasoning mind will start to second guess itself. Um, that's the reason why you have to keep that out of it. You also have to, if you've ever had any problems in the past getting what you want for this particular desire, you have to completely forget about all of that too, okay? Just block it out of your mind. Don't even think about the past. Remember that time is an illusion on this plane. On the higher planes, there's no such thing as time. All times actually exist at once. So it's impossible to live in the past, just like it's actually impos impossible to live in the future, okay? You're only living in the now. This is going to be our catchphrase. Are you ready for this one, guys? We don't live in the past. We live in the now. Because the now is the future. All right, guys, and with that, I'm James Otten, and I would like you, if you enjoyed this video, to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that notification button, because I'm going to have lots more videos always on the way. As always, you may check out some of my older ones, too. That certainly would make my day. I'd love, I love people checking out my videos. But anyway, for now, that's the end of this video, guys. Don't forget to keep at it. Do not give up. Peace out. Blessed be everyone.